Hey, assalamu alaikum. Hope you guys are absolutely well. Uh, we are back with another problem. <coughs> Sorry, today we are going to solve 1604A, which was from 752 round for courses D2. So, before starting, I would like to request you guys to subscribe my channel, please. Hit the bell icon to get immediately update further. So, the problem is here saying, uh, I would like to describe you shortly. Uh, you can pause the video and read out the whole problem to get the exact idea if you don't get my explanation. So the problem is saying here, you will be given an array uh, for some elements. So firstly, you will have to take task and the next you will be taken some numbers which will be taken to our array. And then you will have to satisfy this condition. So let's see an example. So uh, in this example, we can see 1, 2, 5, 7, 4. So here 5 is violating the satisfied equation where uh, it means A of 3. So it is 5, which is greater than 3. 3 means this one. So it is violating our uh, satisfied equation. So it shouldn't be allowed here. So we'll have to write a program to sort out this problem. So here you can see in the solution. So you can see uh, in the solution to sort out this problem, 3 and 4 is taken here so that the index of 5 now become A of 5. So now, which is less than or equal 5 so this is our satisfactory equation so that for the next value which is 7 there another value here taken which is 3 so now 7 which was violating here a 6 which is greater than 7 so it won't allow so we have to sort this problem so 3 is taken so now 7 becomes a of 7 which is less than or equal 7 so now this is our satisfied so here we can see there is three step or you can say three numbers taken to sort out the problem. So for this one, a of eight, obviously less than or equal four. So for each and every number, you will have to uh, satisfy this equation, which is given here, where a modulus is the size of array and one, uh, the, uh, the number here should be one to the size of array and where a of i should be less than or equal i. So hope you got the question actually. Now you can pause the video and try your best to sort out the problem. Or I will explain you my solution. So before that, I would like to uh, show you another example, which is this one. So you can see here when we just take two, which is a two. Uh, so now uh, it is satisfied for each and every value. So it becomes when we inserted two, now it becomes one, two, three, four, which is now satisfied our given equation. So here the task is one uh, to sort this problem. So the answer for this one is 1. Similarly, for the last one is this. Uh, okay, I hope it will be enough to understand this problem. Now let's check out our solution. Uh, or you can see here another example. Okay, this is our solution. So here, firstly, firstly, you can say uh, I have taken here T for task and for the number of arrays value. Uh, the array here is 100 size. So firstly, we are going to run all loop to complete our task. And the next here, the main logic is here. Where we are uh, taking here a call loop. And the next we are uh, taking the input values. So A of J. And I'm also here taking another extra variable, which is A, to track my values. For this one, I want to track it externally. Because, uh, let's see an example, which was the last one, 69, 69. And another one, 69. Okay, let's check this problem for my code. How is it working? So, firstly, when k is 1, so it will, uh, you can see, uh, I have run my for loop from 1 to till the end, where any including included. So, firstly, uh, it's taking the values to our array a of 1, a of 1. When a of 1 is greater than 1, it means that a of 1 is this one, which is greater than 1. Is that greater than 1? Yes, absolutely. So, so it is, uh, the if statement here will work, and the index will be, uh, I have initialized in index to 0. So 0 plus this one will be 69 minus uh, 1, which is 68. And the next, the k will increase to 68 plus 1. So 69. Now k is 69. Okay. Oh. Uh, for this second one, now k will increase and my j will also increase. So now j is 2 and k is total index was 69 and 68 and plus j was 1 so 69 and k will increase and now k will become 70 okay so now k will run from 70 
So now uh, let's a of j. So a of j was a of two, and this one will indicate this. So six nine six nine. So now it is that uh, greater than six seventy. Yes, obviously greater than seventy. So now we can say the if statement will be here record, and index will be the previous index was sixty eight. So sixty eight plus six nine six nine minus seventy. Okay. And the next k here will be increased to this one, and plus one uh, plus two also. And the next here uh, I would like to here run a calculator to calculate this. So six nine six nine uh, minus seventy. So plus sixty eight. So the value is six nine six seven. Okay. So now k will be six nine six seven, and then here will plus two. So six nine. Six seven plus two, which is this one. Okay, this is how we are tracking our values. So then, when the k will increase, so k will jump to six nine seven zero now, and j will increase to three. So now j will plot this value. So we can say is that greater than this one? This one was our k. So yes, obviously it's satisfied this statement. So each statement will be reward, and index will be plus. Six nine, six nine, six nine, minus six nine, seven zero. Okay, so let's calculate this one also, and see what's happened here. So six six eight plus six. Uh, before that, I would like to take a bracket for better understand. Six nine minus seven zero. And next plus six nine six nine six nine minus six nine seven zero. And now if we run equal, which is this. Before that, I would like to clear out screen. Okay, so the index value is this. Now let's go to our program again. So uh, I would like to here write these values, which is six nine six nine six six. Okay. So the value of index is this one, and now it will come here and plus one. So the value of k becomes six nine six nine six seven, and next this one will work plus one, and next j will increase from here and j will become four, and this statement will broken and we will be out from the loop. So now we'll jump to this line where the index was this one. Okay, this one was our index. So let's check out the Problem where the solution was given. Uh, before that, I will like clear screen. Okay. So it was good, but uh, let me check this one before clean out my screen. Okay, you can see this was our, was our answer for this values. Okay. Now let me clear this and remember my answer here. Okay, this was six nine six nine six six, which was our values six nine six nine six six. Okay, this was our problem solution. Now let's submit our code. Check out if it's working or not. Let me copy this one. And now, let's jump to the submission. From here, paste it. Now, click submit. And let's check out. Okay, <laughs> there is a compilation error, which was called GNC11. Okay, okay. And I will have to change my compiler from here. I would like to use G++14 6.4.0. Now let me submit once again. Uh, just pray for my solution. Yes, it's accepted. Okay, don't forget to uh, use updated compiler. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my solution. Uh, if you do like my solution, please don't forget to subscribe. Please, please subscribe my channel. Help me to reach you guys more. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Allah is.